seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Bounty hunter. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team secrets turn to book. Winter Wyvern. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team back. Ember spirit. Ten seconds. For a little while there, they were outside of. Five seconds remaining. Mouse versus Kinguin, uh, but there are too many games for the casters to be able to cast right now, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, if we finish up early, then we're going to head over and cast the Mouse versus Kinguin uh, second game, if that's a possibility. But for now, it's Secret versus 10 rounds. Aosin, how you doing? I'm doing good. It's, uh, it's un understandable making mistakes uh, incredibly early in the morning, the butt crack of dawn. Five seconds remaining. All you EU viewers would love to hear more about. Um, you know, I, I hear that there's a little bit of a rivalry that exists between those couple of regions. Uh, a couple things we should mention real quickly. Uh, first of all, Hesse Joe Rotten is going to be standing in for Fata in these games. The, they just posted on their Twitter that there was a family emergency going on. And so because of that, for the next about like week or so, Fata is going to be a part of the team as opposed, or rather, Hesse Joe is going to be a part of the team instead of Fata. Uh, and then 10 rounds. Um, it's a new stack that's come together. It's come with me, Bone Seven, uh, Bufni, and I think that there are a couple. Five seconds remaining. Well, you're probably more familiar than I am with the, some of these names. I think come with me and Bone Seven are the some of the names I've seen. Not so much the other ones, but. <clears throat> we didn't have much time to look at the draft, or at least I haven't, and just to quickly go through it, looking at 10 rounds as well as their players, this is a very much, very much a fighting lineup, and Team Secret... 10 seconds remaining. I mean, if you look at their draft, this is, this is going to be a brawl, for sure. Remaining. No, they're ready to go. They're ready to run at people. Um, not backing down in the least bit. I think that whenever you see that nature's profit opening for me, that's one of the things that it always sparks. Uh, but it, it's kind of interesting also that Sand King Marana opener that Ten Ren has putting a lot of uh, emphasis on that. I think Sand King is still one of those heroes that's just like so great at being able to push out those lanes and make you know uh, the the like constant pressure around the map. You're always feeling his presence. And a TB last. There's your tower hidden. What do you think? <laughs> Terror Blade. It's kind of like it. Kind of it. Kind of feels like you. <clears throat> they're going away from from the initial like real brawl heavy heavy type of lineup. But I mean, Terror Blade is not exactly the worst one. The the thing about them is just that 
it kind of sucks that you have to play around metamorphosis. That's really the the major issue. But other than that, I mean, I mean, I, I wouldn't like brush it off lightly. <laughs> it is it is a big issue, but he is good in fights when you have metamorphosis. Oh yeah. Well, and I think that the Ember Spirit against him is going to cause some issues, probably, particularly you know mid one, well known for playing on this hero and just completely uh, making a fool of people on occasion. You know his several runs towards 10k. I think that he hit it again recently, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So um, probably the only player to hit 10k twice, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. I don't think Abed hit it 10K a second time. Twice. Yeah, <laughs> it's not bad. Losing one game and winning one game. I mean, yeah, I guess that's fair enough, too. I'm not sure how much that ends up happening. I think that you, like, drop off a little bit, though, when you hit an MMR goal, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, definitely. You just kind of feel like, well, I hit the goal. Time to take a break because I don't want to deal with uh, the process of playing again. For sure. But going to be playing again this one. And I think that this is... Uh... Looking to be a pretty good opener and um, should be a great game. I'm very excited to see how this ends up working out. So we'll take a look around the map uh, and where the movement is. It looks like 10 rounds not opting to go for the early TPs to place ward. So puppies should have free reign of this jungle over here as... Gonna go for the early smoke. Okay. Smoke into kill everybody's face. Do they have dust? They have dust on the Sand King. They should know that that's where he's at. A puppy already making his way out. Ooh. Trees. I mean, if you don't see anybody coming in with these little treants here, that would kind of signal that they're probably looking to find somebody, right? Yeah, I, I, I think I think so. At that point, it's kind of like a. It's kind of like a gamble, I guess. You don't really know if it's, if it's going to be top or bottom. But, mm -hmm. I mean, bottom lane is very difficult to kill because it is a, it's a juggernaut. You can always just hit spin, just walk away. He's also got boots. Standing in a position where it's not going to be easy to catch him out. So, Team Secret playing around this aggressive lineup very well at level 1. I think they realize something is up. All right. One is positioned so far away. That was, like, perfect. Um... That was he really, might, really might, well done. This, so. yeah, see. I mean, it's... Yeah, and they actually are going to be able to still go in and get three bounty runs. Yeah, good good play by the Sand King as well to make that full move. Come with me. Well versed on this here. He's going to be able to pick up a bounty rune. So three go to ten rounds early. This game is really going to take off, though, when... when I, I think, like, Secret's laning isn't going to be great. I, I think that ten rounds definitely have the better... Uh, laning setup, but uh -huh. the thing about it is Team Team Secret is looking to fight when they actually have all their tools up and going. Like, you you pick the Bounty Hunter because you know it's going to be a fighting heavy game. And then at that point, you're okay to trade because you're going to pull ahead with track. Right. But until that happens, I mean... Oh, bottom lane though. Synergy, I think he might be going down here. Yeah, needs to get the Firefly over the edge. Ace thinking if you wanted to go left or right, but... Wasn't sure if you wanted to run and skirt the top of that one, but it doesn't end up being a kill, and that's going to be a salve used. Also, early goings here. RVP able to make sure he gets his uh, range creep every time while he got a deny onto mid ones. So, a little bit of an early nice start here for 10 rounds. Nothing really to write home about, but it's decent. Everything counts. That was really unfortunate for uh, Team Secret, though. I think at... They would have killed him if Ace went to the low ground. But with that said, I mean, Batrider only being level 1 and forced to take Whoa. Firefly. Oh, look at this aggressive positioning right now. And Yapsor might be a bit too far out. Uh, come with me. has made his rotation over. And nice lift up. Trying to get the stun off. They bring in the Winter Wyvern as well. He said we might wait for a little bit of some action. But already happening very early on. Two TP rotations for the Yapsor kill. I mean, that's worth I, I it, think right? You're perfect. I'm pretty sure you, you can say it's worth it simply because it's first blood, but like as you can see right now, they're just going to make the rotation immediately. Rubik already in top lane because they know what is what is the Terrorblade going to do without his support. Yeah. They're going to lift him up, going to start harassing him down. And oh. look at the mid lane, Puppy. 
he's gonna be messing with this lane as well. And all of a sudden, all the heat is way gone away from this uh, bottom lane. Yeah, it's true. That's interesting, because, like, you see this now, and they didn't end up actually getting a ton out of it. I like the, the idea, but Bone7 still able to farm up here for the Probably. moment. Oh, okay. uh, but they do have... This Winter Wyvern possibly going to get taken down. They ended up being able to hit that arrow in mid one, taking some extra heat. Not able to get the secondary burrow strike, and Winter Wyvern able to deny herself to the neutrals. Again, they dive fully forward for it, and come with me, finds the kill on the mid one. Hesijo will find the return kill, but that kill on the mid one, not insignificant as Puppy ends up dying as well. A double for the Marana. Double star. All right. At the very, at the very least, he... Uh... Rana goes down first, so Team Spirit don't exactly give up that much EXP. But I mean, overall, apparently uh, it's a small victory for Team Secret, ending up tr they end up trading three for two. Yeah. Oh, come with me. Diving for that arrow comes in. They oh, break the flame the guard, but the damage is it going to be enough? Mid one barely walking away. Sand King's going to lose his life, but they yeah, do find the kill with the caustic. Yeah. All right, man. We are getting a lot of action. All these lanes just running at each other, and I guess the problem and the big winner here is going to be Hestijo. Uh, the big problem for ten rounds, rather, since Bone Seven is uh, kind of running into a lot of harassment now. Even though Hestijo is a little bit behind in CS. Yeah, the phase boot on Nature's Prophet is, is always going to hurt you when you get it this early. <clears throat> Surprised to see that he isn't going for the Orb of Venom build that we see so many offlaners go for now. Because that, that, that build is surprisingly annoying to deal with as a safe plane carry. Especially Terrorblade, who has, you know, high armor, but not a ton of HP. And, oh, Boofney, he's going to be forced to use the ulti, or rather, excuse me, not ulti. They're talking about Arctic Burn to run away. Um, well, Hester Joe will keep doing a little bit of creep cutting. So mid lane, they hit again on the mid one, and he is going to drop again. Man, this, this, this combo, the, Sand King. The classic combo right here. Sand King Marana has been played for God knows how many years. Oh, Bone 7 in a bit of trouble. Are they going to catch him? He's so close. They're going to try and TP in for this one, but, well, that that's about all that they did. And now, come with me. Oh, Again, a little bit feisty. Look at this guy. He's crazy. They dropped the Sentry Ward. That's not what you want to do, buddy. He's trying to run away, and they got him. All right. Well, it was a good effort. I'm trying to turn this. But now Puppy going to maybe drop himself. Fate time. Not going to be quick enough. As Boofney chasing for Hestijo. He is going to run into him. <gasps> what? Oh, they don't see him. They don't see him. They think he TP'd out. Oh, that would have been a nice oh, kill. Yapsor, he's here. Oh, Yapsor has yeah, and... stick charges. They can kill Boofney easily. Oh, no. He thought that, uh, if Terrorblade would have stuck around. It's a cold embrace, but nobody's going to be coming here to help him out, I don't believe. <laughs> this game. Uh, well, People are fighting in the trees between the Tier 1 and Tier 2. This, I mean, this game is great. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it was going to be a slugfest, but this definitely exceeded my expectations. I guess the two big winners also in this are going to be the uh, Juggernaut, probably, who's basically Wait, had a free lane. Seven. Are they going in? He oh, my God. Again. Bone 7. Oh, uh, cold and right Staying alive. Can they turn it around? Burrow strikes down onto one. There's a reflection as well. They're going to find a kill. But so, too, will Yapsor. He actually got it beforehand. And come with me. They pop the dust trying to find they that secondary more. kill. Puppy in trouble. There's going to be the Burrow. And staying alive with those raindrops might be able to die with one last blast. And it is indeed going to be a double for the Winter Wyvern. <laughs> Rarely seen, but much appreciated. Wait, wait, but they just popped his back. <laughs> oh, it's, it's trans, not over. chasing him around. Run away, Boofney. The Winter Wyvern not getting caught. He misses the Sprout. Oh, no. Oh, lordy. That, like, this is the first time I've ever seen a support Sand King at level 5 in 6 minutes. Just by running around and fighting. Because <laughs> he's 2, 3, and 5. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, and I mean, with Tranquils right now, if he wanted oh, to... Oh, Burrow, to the low ground, find him. Oh, that was just blind. Oh, man, that would have been really nice if he could have finished that one off. Yeah, and the scan, but not there. 
So he spotted him moving and just bro struck on the ground. All right, come with me is back, guys. Let's see it. Oh, puppy, he's going to snipe the courier. Oh, no. No items on it, but a nice little bit of gold there. Also, come with me. Did see Puppy it was uh, Puppy walked into Sentry range, so he had vision of him. That's how he hit the stun. Right. Yeah. Sorry, I meant that they didn't actually see him when the stun landed. He was outside oh, of yeah, Sentry yeah. range then. Um, oh, TPs. We got we got a fight coming up. RVP. Looking for that opening. They connect. don't have level six though, and Estejo's gonna live. He actually kills off the wyvern. With the ulti as <laughs> he goes in, and now Ace is looking for the kill. Jumps in, takes down Bone 7. Oh, just a little oh, sniper shot there. Now they found more. RVP's in trouble. He's going to be fully pulled in. Ace is going to take down the Bat Rider and just desolation up in this top lane. Secret, smelling blood, and well, now they're online. They're almost there. Just wait till Puppy gets his level 6. <laughs> and then all of a sudden. Team Secret are going to be far more inclined to take fights. Not that they aren't already, but even more so. Well, I feel like the Sand King is going to need to get into a Blink Dagger with the Bat Rider just a as soon as possible. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else? I guess Winter Wyvern ulti is a pretty good setup for an Epicenter. I mean, it's a good setup, but the thing the thing is, like, everyone is just trying to farm. Like, as much as possible, or it's not farm as much as possible. Everyone wants to fight, and if you're constantly fighting and you're not winning these team fights, you're never gonna finish your blink dagger. No. And at the same time, if you don't fight, you're gonna fall off very quickly because that's just the nature of your lineup. You you have to be fighting, especially. Right. Uh, I mean, for like dire, I don't think anyone should really be farming too much, apart from the terror blade. I don't think Mirana is gonna have the luxury of attack. farming, and especially these supports. Yeah. Well, and, and she's getting a little bit of time right here, which is nice. Uh, like, any downtime that you can have will be at least a little good to pick up something, but uh, it does look like mid-1 was looking to open on the Bufni and Bone 7. But not really able to make that much happen. Ooh, and Rubik's still Arrow. That's pretty good. Only one level, but you can basically set yourself up for a disabled, a chain disabled, so... Oh, I think they know that uh, Puppy is standing right on this rune. Doesn't get it. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll have to watch where that uh, Tome ends up going. I would imagine it's going to be headed over to Puppy on the bounty. He's level 5 already, so that Tome will put him over the edge. And, man, he's thinking about this. Bone 7 might actually go down with this. Oh, he must know. Oh, there's the catch. There's the kill. Oh, wow. That one I, really hurts. I, I think he must have known because uh, the, the what is it? I don't even know what it's called in Dota 2, actually. The the creep, the co centaur. Oh, yeah, yeah, the aggro. Wait. It drew aggro, and then, like, it, it did the stomp. Yeah, it only stomped if there's three units to by. Yeah. I think he should have, yeah. I mean, at that point, he got stomped, so, like, there's nothing you can do about that. But I was... Wondering if anyone's going to show up. Oh, mid lane. Yeah. yeah. Absor may be getting a little bit too big for his britches, but he's actually going to be okay. Now the TP away. The uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, look, that look happened. This, look at this track. Oh, no. And now they got Omni Slash as well. Turn. Omni, maybe, possibly. Not going to go for it, but they are chasing now instead and are able to cake off and kill that bounty hunter. Yapsor, not afraid of things, apparently, but... This tank and tower for a second. Ace going to switch that over for himself for a moment. And now, with that healing ward, it's going to be Absor just walking away. Now now I'm trying to find out what it's called. But there is not a single camp with it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The the stomping creep. What, I don't know what it's called. Oh, the centaur war runner. Is that what it's called? Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Whatever. <laughs> 2K caster, don't know creep names. I know, I can't believe it. That's so important to, to gaining MMR. It really is. It, it really is. <laughs> Be sure to watch my YouTube video on how to gain MMR by learning creep names. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the smoke up now by Secret. It's going to be a 9,000 net worth lead over the past couple minutes. And is that just all 
like tracks and fights pretty much or is it some like oh no yeah that's gonna be a bat rider jumped on and a burrow and a track kill it feels like this isn't really gonna stop for secret i don't it's not actually just the the track because the track only secured them or not secured but gave him bonus gold for about three kills uh a lot of the gold advantage is definitely coming from the cores actually having an easier time farming like look at ace ace is sitting at 110 cs he's got top net worth by quite a decent amount he's not really pressured you know mid one is the one who had to eat most of the pressure yeah and he's given the space to catch up now like look at his item build he's just gonna go farm picking up the early boots of travel gonna be able to farm and kind of fight at the same time oh bottom lane they find puppy yeah they but guessed they the don't... wrong way oh bone seven and everybody else wanting to make that happen but it slinks up there to the north Top lane. okay if he's in trying to slow this down they also have ace in the area they're bringing in another they're fighting this all right come with me he's in the middle of all of them he does have sandstorm channeling for the moment waiting for a second one able to barely know not get away so omni slash comes out on a come with me and secret showed up just at the right time puppy even finding a retreating bat rider no he or dead him. <laughs> they didn't track the sand king or the marana only the bat rider Puppy going for the. Oh, oh wait, what? Does courier? What? Uh. Courier is fine. It's fine. That's fine. Go run help. run away, courier. At least I think it's fine. What has it been with these games the past couple days? I feel like all of this has just been insanity. You know, like teams just running at each other and. Wait, puppy? Is he waiting for this? He knows. Oh, he knows. Look at this guy. Yeah, they're, they're they're waiting for it. They're like setting up a perimeter. <laughs> All right, this is where you buy a new courier if you're the dire. Oh, they're sending it. No, they're sending it. Puppy, he's never leaving. He wants his 10%. Get but, over here, buddy. Are oh, you kidding he got me? it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I'm not I'm not going to lie. That was impressive. Yeah. Just to to kind of know. Oh, mid one. Going to be toying with a mid. Man. 13k net worth lead in 14 minutes. 15 minutes. This is uh, looking rough. This bounty hunter pick really working out for them right now. Alright, well, Hestajo might be the one that gets found out here. As he just walked into uh, a, lot of, a lot of issues. Alright, that's a start. Finding these kills. Much needed for the Sand King, like like you said earlier. Like there's there's setups, but without the blink daggers, it doesn't mean too much. Very difficult to uh, epicenter without the blink dagger, even if you have All a right. wiper, unless you catch everyone. Oh, okay. Right here though. Yep, or he plays his hero better than you play your hero. Um, he just manhandled that Marana, and there is gonna be a burrow strike there, but lordy lordy. Mid one in the meantime just takes down Bone Seven up there top. It's real. The wheels are coming off. Wheels are coming off. It is how how bad of a problem is this right now for ten rounds? Uh, well, for starters, the Rubik has more net worth than your carries. Yeah. So that's a pretty bad start. <laughs> that, that's that's a, a sobering thought. Um. Oh, here we go. Arrow. Oh, arrow. Marana arrow got arrowed again. Oh, no. Omni slash oh, down on to come no. with me. Tries to burrow strike away. It's not going to happen. No way to save their buddies. And, well, 21 to 10. It was looking good in the laning stage. I was really impressed by 10 rounds' of play there. And they still do have great high ground defense. That's kind of the thing, though, right? Like, they got. They managed to find the kills, but. Their farming efficiency just wasn't quite at the same level as uh, as Secret. You know, Secret, they gave up the kill at bottom even, and it was at the cost of both of the supports leaving the safe lane. And all of a sudden, your Terra Blade starts to kind of struggle against a Nature's Prophet, and then the supports on Secret side, they, they kind of realize, you know, even if this Bat Rider farms, it's not going to be the worst thing, because we're 
just gonna beat you in the mid game when Bounty Hunter gets his uh, his level six. So. They go pressure in the other lanes, and then Ace just given a free lane. He, he doesn't really worry too much about a bad rider, uh, not especially with the lead that he had. I think the other issue too is just like the the vision that Puppy has given him this game. Like he has been able to find them pretty consistently out and. Oh, let's see. Blink Dagger is there for Yapsor. Not able to get it off in time. Oh, he stopped well, A little bit of check, well. though. Okay. Decent play. They're able to interrupt that epicenter from Come With Me, like you were saying. And that probably kept Yapsor alive. And now Puppy oh, throwing out more track bounces. Oh, there's also the Nature's Prophet ulti. Oh, seven. He gets off the Sunder. Okay. Ace is going to end up going down. Bone Seven still alive, but not for long. They're all tracked up still, and RVP might end up going down if he sticks around for too long. Puppy's not going to fall there. So they take down Yapsor in the end. This is the best feeling in the world as a bounty hunter. Everyone is tracked. Yeah. And Omni Slash is back up again. Two seconds. They might need to share it together. Their mid oh, one jumps in. One. This is going to be big. They take down Come With Me right at the start. Money. Double kill for Pappy. Gets it as well. Oh, no. Dive in base with no regard for human life. Everyone's rich. 22,000 net worth lead at 18 minutes. I really like this Juggernaut pickup as well. You know, we haven't seen much of him recently, but I think the strongest uh, thing about Juggernaut, honestly, is his healing ward. And if you're going to constantly fight, what better ability to than healing ward to keep you fighting? Yeah. Mid one forces him to cancel his TP as well. The little things. And yeah, so he has reflection too. He's walking in, throws out the reflection, able to just sidestep away from that bat rider now. And summoning tree and sending them in. And look at this healing ward. Yeah. They're just Let's back up again. They're ready to go. Uh -oh. Silence, Silence on the come with me before the burrow strike could come out as well. Precasted. And now chasing. Mid one, he wants more oh, inside in the, the fountain. fountain. He takes down Buys another, the double kill. Mid one, he picked up his radiance when he went in, and they didn't stand a chance. All right, Winter's Curse. It's a, uh, it's a good thought, but at the end of the day, secret demolish. Ten rounds. Twenty-nine thousand for thirty kills in twenty minutes. 